Hey everybody, it's Sandy here bringing you week two of my next bikini competition prep. I'm prepping for my third show, which is in March. I believe it's the 19th of March in South Florida. So I am in week two, day five. My days start on Saturday, so today's Wednesday. And I'm gonna be real and tell you guys a little bit about the ugly side of things because I told you guys I was gonna be honest and share with you the good, the bad, and the ugly. So last week was hectic. It was busy, it was crazy. We opened up our very first uh, Fit for Life gym in Pembroke Pines. A little shameless plug there, so if anybody's in the South Florida area, come check us out. Um, but anyways, um, so I was extremely busy. We opened up our doors and it's been crazy with back and forth and the kids and kind of adjusting our schedule and really balancing. But more so than anything else, I am still in the process of trying to balance my life from my last show, which ended in October of 2015. So here we are in January and I'm still balancing and still finding that balance. So yeah, the ugly side of things. After you, you uh, prep for a show, um, it can be scary because you want to, I guess, go into your previous schedule and routines and all that stuff and eat whatever you want to and maybe not work out as much or whatever it may be. And what happens is your body is really not adjusted to that after prepping for so long. And even though I wasn't prepping for that long, I was probably at that point maybe about 20 weeks. Um, it was still my body was at a different level. My hormones were a little wacky and uh, there was a lot of things going on. So I gained a lot of weight, which is normal after you compete. Um, a little bit more than what I wanted to. Um, it kind of took me out of the zone of a comfortable weight. So therefore I've been dealing with a lot of mental balance in my life with weight and eating and things like that because no matter what I ate, whether it was healthy or not, I still gained weight. So it was hard and it's a hard transition. So I'm kind of like in that transition right now if I'm going to continue to prep to compete in March or if I'm going to take a break for a couple more months, balance out my life, balance out my eating and my workouts and all that stuff and kind of get back on track mentally and physically because as you guys know, health and fitness is not just working out. Like it's a lot of it's in your head and you know what you tell yourself you can or cannot do is exactly what's going to happen. And if you're not balanced and if it's not right up there, a lot of things can go wrong. And many of you may know that I did suffer with an eating disorder way back in the day. And yeah, a lot of those habits and um, things that I used to do did come back. Fortunately enough, I'm at a safe zone and I feel very strong mentally that I'm not starving myself or things like that like I used to, not excessive exercise. Um, so I'm glad that that's you know, kind of under control because that is very very scary lifestyle but at the same time like I have to keep in mind that this whole competition and stuff I have to want to do it and feel extremely passionate about it in order to continue moving forward and right now it's kind of like up and down so because I want to be healthy and I want that balance in my life and it's not just about stepping on stage with a phenomenal physique um, and looking good but not feeling right. So everything has to kind of go together. So I have been struggling with that the past week and I'm being honest because I told you guys I was going to be honest about it. I don't know if I'm going to continue prep or what exactly I'm going to do yet. So I'm just kind of taking it day by day and as many of you know that compete, it is a day by day process. No matter what you do, um, today you could feel awesome and tomorrow you could feel like crap. So there's a lot of emotions that go on with competing and if you're ever thinking about competing it might be something that a lot of people don't talk about um, but it's true it happens so anyways this past week was busy crazy hectic my meals were on point because I've been so busy that I haven't been able to think about anything else um, but just you know staying busy so my eating has been awesome my workouts have still been the hits um, every single day so I've still been doing that. I've been sticking to my master uh, hammer and chisel workouts as well as throwing in um, some hit style workouts, um, uh, exercises after I do my workout, depending, because I had to do about 40 to 45 minutes of hit. So depending on what my actual DVD workout is, is what I'll add onto that afterwards. So thanks so much guys for tuning in. I hope everybody is doing awesome and I will check you later. Bye.